Okay, so welcome to Math Storia and let's solve this problem. So determine the center versus foci and equation of asymptotes of a hyperbola with a given equation. So we have this given equation and these are the steps to solve for this problem. So first we need to group all x and all y but start with the positive x squared or y squared. So since on this given equation, y squared is positive, so therefore, first group is all y. And since this one is positive y squared, so this hyperbola is in vertical position. So we need to group first all y, so we have 4y squared, then this negative 16y. Then for x, since this one is negative 9x squared, so we need to put this negative outside. So this becomes positive 9x squared. Then this positive 54x, since we put this negative outside, so therefore this positive 54x becomes negative 54x. Then equals, so transpose this negative 101 to the right, this becomes positive 101. Then we need to factor out the coefficient of x squared and y squared. So we need to uh, put this number outside, so to factor out this equation of y, uh, put 4 outside, so therefore this becomes y squared, then minus this 16 divided by 4, that's 4, so we have 4y. Then minus for the equation of x, so factor out this 9, so put 9 outside, so this becomes x squared. Then minus this 54 divided by 9, this one is 6x, then equals 101. And then do completing the square. So in completing the square, so for y, just take this coefficient of y, this one is 4, then divide this one by 2, then take the square, so 4 divide by 2, that's 2, and 2 square, that's 4. Then for x, so take the coefficient of x, we have 6 divide by 2, Take the square, so 6 divided by 2, this one is 3, and 3 squared, that's 9. Then add these numbers to this equation, so we have now 4 times y squared minus 4y, then plus, so 4y plus 4, then minus, so we have 9, then x squared, minus 6x, so for x, plus 9, then equals 101. So take note that the number you added on the left side must also be added on the right side. So for the right side, plus, since we add 4 for the equation of y, and there is 4 outside, so we need to multiply these two numbers, then add, to the right side, so we have plus 4 times 4. Then the other one, since we add 9 to the equation of x, but we have this negative 9 outside, so we need to multiply these two numbers. So since this one is negative, so therefore minus 9 times 9. Then simplify and apply factoring, so for y we have 4, so factors of y squared, that's y times y. Since this one is negative, so minus, and factors of 4, that's 2 times 2, so we have now y minus 2, then to the power 2. Then minus 9, so for x, factors of x squared, this one is x times x. Since this one is negative, so minus n factors of 9, this one is 3 times 3. So we have now x minus 3, then to the power 2. 
din equal. So, we need to simplify this equation on the right side. So, we have 101. Then, plus 4 times 4. This one is 16. Then, minus this 9 times 9. That's 81. Then, simplify. So, we have 4 times y minus 2 to the power 2. Then, minus 9 times x minus 3 to the power 2, then equals, so this 101 plus 16, that's 117. And 117 minus 81, this one is 36. Then the last step, so equation must be equal to 1. So to equate this equation to 1, we need to divide every terms by this number. So divide by 36. Divide by 36 and divide by 36. Then simplify. So uh, since this number is 4, so we need to divide both sides by 4 to omit this 4. So we have now y minus 2 to the power 2 over this 36 divided by 4. That's 9. Then minus... Since this one is 9, so we need to divide both sides by 9 to omit this number. So we have now x minus 3 to the power 2 over. So this 36 divided by 9, that's 4. Then equals 36 divided by 36, that's 1. So this is now the standard equation of this hyperbola. Then, in a standard equation, the first denominator is a squared and the second is b squared. Since this hyperbola is in vertical position, so these are now the formulas to solve for the center versus foci equation of asymptotes. But first, we need to find the values of h, k, a, b, and c. So, we need to find first the values of h and k. So in our standard equation, that's y minus k and x minus h. So from the standard equation of this hyperbola, so we have this uh, y minus 2. So this one is k, x minus 3, so this one is h. So for h, since this one is minus 3, so therefore, h is positive 3. So h is positive 3. Then for k, since this one is minus 2, so therefore, k is also positive 2. So k is positive 2. Then to solve for a, since we have this a squared equals 9, so a squared equals 9 to solve for a take the square root so a is equal to positive 3 and to solve for b so we have this b squared equals 4 so b squared equals 4 then take the square root so b is equal to positive 2 then to solve for c using this formula so we have now c squared is equal to a squared that's 3 squared plus b squared that's 2 squared so c squared is equal to 9 plus 4 c squared is equal to 9 plus 4 this one is 13 take the square root so c is equal to square root of 13 since we have now the five values, so the h, the k, a, b, and c, so we can solve now the coordinates of the center, vertices, foci, and this equation of asymptotes. So to find the coordinate of the center, so we have center, that's h and k, so h is 3, and k is 2. So this is now the coordinate of the center. 
Then for the coordinates of these uh, vertices, so we have this h, 3, then k plus minus a, so we have 2, plus minus a is 3. Then I simplify, so we have 3, then 2 plus 3, and the other one, 3, and 2 minus 3. Then simplify, so we have 3, then this 2 plus 3, that's 5, and the other one, 3 and 2 minus 3, that's negative 1. So these are the coordinates of the vertices. Then for the foci, so we have this h, 3, then k is 2, plus minus c, that's square root of 13. Then simplify, so we have this 3, then 2 plus square root of 13, and the other one, 3, then 2 minus square root of 13. Then simplify, so we have 3, and this 2 plus square root of 13, so we have 2 plus square root of 13 equals, so that's 5.61. So we have 5. Point 0.61 and the other one so we have 3 then this 2 minus square root of 13 so we have 2 minus square root of 13 equals so that's negative 1.61 so negative 1.61 so these are the coordinates of these foci then for the last one, the equation of asymptotes. So to find this equation of asymptotes using this formula, so we have y then equals k, so k is positive 2. So we have positive 2 then plus minus a over b. So a is 3, b is 2, so that's 3 over 2. So plus 3 over 2, then times x minus h, so h is positive 3, so minus 3. Then simplify, so we need to multiply this whole equation by this uh, denominator, so multiply this whole equation by 2, then distribute. So this becomes 2y, then equals 2 times 2, that's 4, plus minus to this term, so cancel 2, so we have now 3 times x minus 3. Then we need to separate now this equation, so we have now 2y equals 4, then plus 3 times x minus 3 and the other one 2y equals 4 then minus 3 times x minus 3 so that's plus and minus so plus and minus then simplify so we have this 2y equals 4 then distribute that's positive 3x and negative 9. Then we have now 2y equals uh, 3x. Then this 4 minus 9, that's negative 5. Then divide every term by 2. So cancel. So therefore, y is equal to 3 over 2x, then minus 5 over 2. So this is the first equation of the asymptote. Then the other one, so we have this 2y equals 4. Then negative 3 times x, that's negative 3x. And negative 3 times negative 3, that's positive 9. Then we have 2y equals negative 3x. 
this 4 plus 9, positive 13. Divide every term by 2. So cancel. So y now is equal to negative 3 over 2x plus 13 over 2. So this is now the second equation of asymptote. So these are now the coordinates of the center, the coordinates of the vertices, the coordinates of the foci, and the equations of asymptotes.